off with Emmanuel Okoye. Raise your hand for questions and we'll get you a mic. Carpet will start with you in the back. I can't really hear. Um, I didn't really hear you from the beginning, please. Yeah, I about, uh, Coach Avon said you your athleticism and just hearing like you could be like one of the most talented players to play tight end. So what's that like mean when you hear that? Oh, I mean, you know, it's a blessing because you know having someone like Coach <coughs> Alec, you know, have so much faith in me, you know invest his time in me, it's, it's a really, you know, huge thing. So I have to like, you know, do my best to make the best of this opportunity. So, yeah. Daniel, can you take us back for people that maybe don't know uh, about being discovered by OCU Madura and his scouts and how that came to be? Um, was back in uh, Nigeria, that was uh, almost, eight, almost two years now. So, um, yeah, I was playing basketball at the time. You know, also came for the camp, did my best, you know, in socks, you know, <laughs> just did what I had to do. And, you know, he saw the zeal I had for the game and <clears throat> gave me the opportunity to play football in the UK at the NFL Academy. And I put my 100% into it and I'm here. Um, you know, the coaches, Coach Hypo gave me, you know, his unique vision for me. You know, what he sees me becoming in the nearest future, the way he could, you know, build me to become the best player I can, you know, possibly become. So, um, yeah, he's a really unique coach. The coaching staff, great guys. Uh, coach Alec is one of the, you know, best to do the job. So, you know, being in such an environment with such coaches is a blessing. And, yeah. Adam and Emmanuel, what's the sort of the differences in culture from where you're from to here? Like the food, how people are, the way people talk. What, what's what's different in the culture? I mean, you know, it depends if you're asking me from if it's Nigeria, UK, or the US. But I would say like the US to Nigeria is quite you know different. The uh, uh, accent, languages, you know the style, you know, the way people dress. I mean, it's quite different. The food, I mean, the environment in general. But where I grew up, I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, so it's quite similar to out here. And like, you know, where I grew up is more of like nature. So that's small, similar to Knoxville. So that's a good reason why I chose here. You said languages, how many languages are you fluent in? Um, I'll say fluent in English. Fluent in my native language, Igbo. Fluent in Pidgin, English. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Two questions I'll ask them separately. You mentioned the vision that Coach Apple said that he told you he had for you. What was that vision? I mean, like, you know, making me become, you know, using what I have, the gifts I have to build me to become the best player I can become, you know, using me for the benefit of the program and, uh, you know, yeah, just making me become the best player I can be, possibly. At the time, was that specific to one side of the ball, tied in defensive end, or is that to be determined when you got it? Yeah, um, I mean, the choice was left to me. You know, anywhere I play, either side of the ball, I would make a good impact. So, yeah, he just he left it open. So why did you choose tight end? I mean, I feel like, you know, I, I could use, you know, my speed to operate more in space. So me being able to use my athleticism, you know, on the on the offense would be a great thing for me. So still waiting to see how much can unfold. Uh, Rob, Emmanuel, when you're practicing and you're on the field and you're working with a guy like Keenan Jacob Warren or LeBron Jackson, you've been you know, playing this game all their life or you played in their six year of college. How, how do you get discouraged when something may come naturally to them that is, is brand new to you? I mean, I I take it the same way I took basketball because going into basketball, like everything wasn't, you know, so smooth for me. So it's just one step at a time. Gradually, like everything will come into place. So that's just what I'm doing right now. Casey in the back. 
What would you say are some of the um, expectations that Coach Avalon has for you as well as the other tight ends, and how are you planning to rise up and meet those expectations as well? Um, please, can you rephrase the question? Can you rephrase the question? Yeah, just any um, expectations that coaches have for you, Coach Avalon, Coach Heifel, and how you want to live up to those expectations. I mean, they, they have, you know, really high expectations for me, you know, recruiting me from overseas. They, they definitely had, you know, expectations and, you know, working my ass off every day, doing the best I could do the rest of the Titans, you know. We, we just do what we're supposed to do and we should get there, hopefully. Uh, people learn in different ways. I'm curious to know what, what which way has been more, more, most helpful for you to learn football. Is it up on the board? Is it watching the game? Is it just out there on the field? What's helped you most learn football? I mean, every everything you mentioned plays, you know, a big role in learning, like being theoretically, practically, you know, everything plays a big role. So I just, you know, do everything I can possibly do to to learn and be better at what I do. Uh, we'll do a couple more. We'll do Paige and Parker and then finish with Patrick. What have you enjoyed most during your time with Tennessee? Mm, I'll say my time with the, with the players, you know, I don't really have much family out here, so I spend almost every hour of my day with them, with my coaches, so, I mean, you know, the time I spend in the locker room, the energy on the field, in the weight room, and, you know, Coach El Alec and Coach Hype, you know, taking me through stuff, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty much, you know, the best I've had so far. I mean, there's no ceiling to what I can accomplish. So I just keep, you know, pushing for the most I could get. So, I mean, I just keep getting better as, as I normally do. So just keep going high and I should get, you know, to the peak of where I'm supposed to get to. Patrick, last question. Maybe a couple of questions. First, your, your first two days of practice out here, what, what have they been like? Have, they, have you done better than you thought? You find yourself having to learn pretty much all the time? Or, or have you surprised yourself with how maybe well you've done? Um, the first day was was good, I mean, but today was better, and tomorrow will be better. So that's a, just how I keep going. So today, if I didn't do too well, tomorrow I'll be better. So that's I just keep getting better every day. And secondly, you talked about spending a lot of time with your, your teammates. Who are some guys that you kind of bonded with over the past couple of months that have come through a love for you and being from uh, overseas that have helped you sort of adjust to being in a country and everything else you've had to adjust to? I mean, our tight end room is really, you know, full of great guys. Uh, Jacob Warren, you know, he's a great, like, big bro to me. And uh, Ethan Davis, you know, we, we are pretty much, you know, new. So we walk through almost everything together, get reps together. So he's, like, the guy I do most of the stuff with. But everyone in the tight end room, they pretty much help me with everything. So they've made me, you know, really love doing what I do and make me feel free to like ask questions and say whatever I want to say without feeling, you know, less of myself.